Hi guys, I'm Sanav. How are you guys doing? I'm so glad you're here. Well, I'm Sanav and I am your spiritual guide on your spiritual journey. And so I'm just grateful that you're here. I'm grateful um, that you're here with me today. And so we're talking about the global reset and how it's forcing us to trans. Form. And so if you are new here, go ahead and give me a like and a thumbs up and hit that notification bell so you can be notified when I upload a video. Also, if you are an OG, welcome back, queens and kings and queens. Just welcome back. Take a seat. Love you guys so much. Thank you for being here. But go ahead and share this video. And because you know I'm putting out the good stuff and hit give me a thumbs up and a like and let's dig in. All right. The global reset. The global reset, right? It's all around us. It's forcing us to transform. Now, if you haven't watched this video where I've done shorts about the global reset, I've also done a video about our specifically about our businesses and some of the things that we can do to pandemic proof, uh, global re reset proof our businesses. Um, then go ahead and check that out as well. All right, so. Now, the global reset is forcing us to transform. You know, so much is going on from the pandemic, you know, the mask and all the stuff that's going on. Uh, the weather, right. The, so, yes, okay. <laughs> so many things are going on. And we are being forced, um, you know, whether we want to or not, to transform. And so I want to talk about, explore some of the ways that we're being forced to transform. And so number one, first way is the way we think, right? So we're being forced to transform the way we think, the way we believe, uh, what we feel. My notes are kind of over to the side if you see me looking over there. Um, what You know, being forced to transform what we believe, how we believe. The world is coming and so many secrets are coming to the forefront that have been knowledge that's been hidden from us and we're able to interact and talk to each other now more through social media and so you know the internet and just google any research anything so all the lies and the mask coming down and so we are being forced to rethink our world and see the world and what we feel about it and intentionally through mindfulness through meditation and through our thoughts be intentional about the world that we are creating now i have a class on manifesting the life that you desire if you'd like more information and you haven't taken that class then please um let me know and comment below and, and the class is just five dollars and we you can get that product digitally uh, delivered to you via email now number two the way we live right so housing is changing and we're watching this changing it doesn't take you any length of time to be on um youtube for you to really see that look Stuff is changing um, it, when it comes to housing. You're seeing uh, people are using, you know, staying in tiny homes. They're using shipping containers to create homes. Uh, solar power. People are, you know, using solar power to power their homes as opposed to in getting off the grid. And, it, you know, so, so much is changing. Our world is really, really changing and it's changing fast. And my heart goes out to everyone who's in Texas right now with this snow that's coming down. And if you have lived through that, right, in that snow and been without power, whether you, wherever you are, Tennessee, Mississippi, or, or Arkansas, where, wherever you are, um, Texas, and you've gone through that of, you know, not having um power then you know it's time for all of us to be off the grid <laughs> okay and so it's just these symbols these signs showing us of what we are what we need to do and how we need to really focus and transition our lives so we're not dependent on anyone else housing more sustainable that's more affordable and give you this opportunity to live and we'll talk more about that soon all right number three okay uh changing the way we eat uh we're being forced um uh, look to eat healthy to do clean living and um you know do assortment of things from foraging for our own food or getting to know a farmer or getting to know foragers uh growing our own food even if it's just a tiny pot on in in your apartment in your kitchen ledge or on your patio it's time to grow something that you can call your own because there's so many things that are going on health issues allergies i had allergies that's what, one of the things that forced us to begin growing our own food and so it's time so we're being forced into these things um whether we like it or not now okay so number four the way we work 
Look, you guys know it as well as I do. We're all looking around at the way that we work and we it is changing. And so a lot of people are working at home, working remotely, or doing a combination of both as much as they can. And so we're being moved, herded into a particular way of life. And we need to pay attention because uh, many of us are um, might be under the illusion that the world is going to somehow magically poof, go back to normal. And I think we'll have some sense of normality. Um, but, you know, I think for the most part, we'll be asked to create a new normal. And because um, this all may be around us for quite a while. And so we need to prepare ourselves. I feel spirit really pushing me and telling me to tell my people, to tell you guys, um, this is a prophetic sort of warning. I'm, you know, it's a, you know, it's a warning, but it's upbeat and it's loving, but just a preparation to tell you guys, let's get prepared. Let's get prepared. All right. So let's kind of recap the way we think, uh, the way we live. Number two, the way we eat, the way we work. Number five, right. The way we do business, right. So I talked about in a video and we know on Mondays we do spiritual business Mondays, but also, um, you know, you watch this, that video whenever you'd like to. Uh, and so I'm calling it the spiritual business day. And so it's just the day we talk about spiritual businesses and how we as a spiritual community um, can have really successful, really amazing spiritual businesses. There's a lot of information on, you know, all kinds of businesses and branding regular businesses, but for spiritual businesses, I feel, you know, when you have a heart and intention to do good in the world, then we, you know, I, I feel spirit saying also to me that it's time for you all to get the special attention and love that you need to be successful because our businesses are taking off and to put them on the right footing so we can thrive. Now, I mean, said that. So I've got a playlist of, you know, where I address issues of branding for spiritual businesses. And also I have set the attention that I'm supporting spiritual businesses in this season on my channel. And so if you'd like for me, you have a product that you'd like for me to review or share, I'd love to do that. So reach out to me via email and I would love, absolutely love um, to review your product and to share it here on my platform. Yes. So now to the good stuff, the, you know, the way we're doing business is changing. All of that to say the way that we do business, uh, we're being forced in the global reset to change. And that is one to start a business. Some of us have ne never even thought of starting a business, but it's important to think about it in this season. So we're not dependent on anyone else. We're able to make our own money. Uh, we're not dependent on a paycheck or a business because, the you know pandemic is going on all this stuff is going on and so it's important that you know we have the opportunity to work from home just like everyone else okay you feel me and um that we you know can also be digital nomads if we want to we could work from anywhere around the world and so that's the season that we're in to really rethink our business to really rethink business to really rethink how we do business and to rethink if we could even have a business. Some of us have never thought of having our own business, have never thought of even opening a business or having a product or sharing a service, controlling our time and being able to spend more time with our family, being able to um, have a better lifestyle, bring in more income and just protect ourselves more, right? So if it's snowing today and it's one degrees like it was this morning here uh, where I am, then you're not having to go out and fight that bitter cold to get out or having, it's not a must that you have to get out and drop your kids off at some daycare, find someone um, to keep your kids because you've got to be there. You've got to be to work, at work because you've got to make that money. And so we're, in, during this global reset, we're really being given, offered right from spirit spirit always offers this opportunity um to see what's going on prophetically in the system and kind of um in the matrix and kind of do a litmus test right put it up to the wind and see if it's raining or snowing or you know storms coming 
and then prepare, prepare, prepare. And so we're being told to prepare in this season by creating a business that we love that can really support and provide the lifestyle that we want for our families and the people we love. Now, um, then, right, so we've got uh, one, two, three, four, five, six. All right, number six. <laughs> I have to count, guys, so I can make sure I can staying in order um the way we play right number six is transforming this global reset set is transforming the way that we play and what i mean by that is we're being asked to have more rec recreational time more downtime some of us have worked 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 like workaholic work 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 right and we really have just worked our life away, worked on a job for, look, 30 years, 40 hours, 50 hours, 60, 70, 80 hours. I know one time my husband, my husband worked 110 hours in two weeks. Look, y'all. And so we're being, you know, really being in this moment of, you know, the, the pandemic and this global reset and the, the ice storms that are going on and all of these things and look for more signs and wonders and synchronicities to come. But we're being asked, uh, those of us who are, um, you know, within this spiritual realm, we are being asked to take more naps and to slow down and to meditate and to pray and to sit with spirit and to teach other people how to do this, even if it's within our families to teach our friends how to do this, um, to turn this into a business. So we're being asked, right, for, first of all, ourselves to slow down, to rest, to relax, to rely on spirit and not on the outside world. And so we're being asked to remember who we are and to reset our own lives and that first reset is through peace bringing in peace bringing in more joy bringing in more love bringing in more rest <laughs> look and bringing in just a time of self-care to really and self-love to think about ourselves right it's this time during the pandemic one of the things that is taught us right with the mask is that life is short and that are the people that we love are precious. So it's taught us to love our precious, our loved ones, love our precious friends, love our precious, our community, to love each other, our spouses and our families, and to really be good each to each other, really be goody to each other, really be good to each other, and to really love each other and know how important we are and tell each other just how important we are to each other and just how much we are loved and how much we are supported just to allow that goodness to just circulate in our communities and to value each other more. We That's what we're being called upon to do in this season, not to take anything or anyone for granted and not to take the time and the opportunities that we have to share with each other, to love each other, not to take those things for granted. And so, I am so grateful for you. Please let me just say to you how grateful I am to you. I am so grateful for you for watching my videos, for supporting me, giving me those th thumbs up, for liking the videos, for investing in this channel, for those of you who are members who hit the join button, and those of you who privately um, give and share on a regular basis with me on this channel to grow. We are grateful. Milton and I are so grateful for those of you who have invested in craft organization. And, it, you know, this is a tough season. It's cold. It's, you know, it's winter. And so this is a tough season for our people who are out on the ground, homeless or need shelter or, you know, are struggling during this time. And so we're, we're able to do the work that we do because of you. So let me say how grateful um, I am for you because... I truly am. Wilson and I truly are. Now, I love you guys so much. Uh, if you haven't already, you know, we are doing um, 
Love the new currency for the month of February. February, if you haven't picked this up already, go ahead. I'll leave a link for you to be able to pick this up on Amazon. Um, and and that would be a blessing to us. But also, this is a good book, y'all. It's a good book. It'd be a blessing to you. <laughs> we have, I have a digital product, as I've said. I'll leave the link below. Um, and so it is manifesting, um, crafting the life that you desire. So look, I will leave that link below and you can work it you know, and look at it and watch it at your leisure. Be sure to check out all of the videos and catch up on um, the work that I've been doing as we're shifting um, into this global reset and we're creating the life that we desire. Beautiful things each and every day. I love you guys so much. Again, I'm Sanam and go ahead and give me a like, comment and share the video with a friend, someone who would be interested in this content. I love you guys so much. And I want to see you in another video real soon. Know that you, 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 you are wonderful. You are beautiful. You are blessed. You are prosperous. You are loved. You are creative. You are intentional about your life. You have everything within you to do all the things that you need to do. The Most High has blessed you and ordained you and appointed you for this moment. You are ready to thrive and to do amazing, great things. You're called. You know why? Honey, baby, because you just are. I'm Sadav. I love you guys so much and I'm going to see you in another video real soon. Bye-bye guys.